Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you this wiping title reveal effect in DaVinci Resolve. In addition to the center reveal, it also has the single line wiping reveal effect in different directions. You can change animation styles easily without keyframing. This time, we will also look into the key steps of making this effect in the Fusion page. As usual, you can download the template and use it directly in the edit page. Once it's installed, we can add the line reveal title template to the timeline from the effects panel. The default effect is set to horizontal center reveal. In the inspector, we can change the title. For a multi-line title, the lines will be automatically adjusted to match the title size. These are basic controls to change the text font, style and colors. We can use the center parameter to move the title. Or enable the fusion overlay and change title position in the viewer. The settings inside the line section are used to control the color and styles of the line. We can change the thickness of the line. Or extend the length. A negative value can reduce the length and make it shorter than the text area. Padding X and padding Y are used to adjust the space between the line and the text title. The size of lines are also automatically adjusted to match the padded area. The line color is set to a solid color by default. But if needed, we can go to the Fusion page and change to Gradient. We will look into that a bit later. In the animation group, we can change the wiping direction. When the center reveal is checked, right and left will produce the same horizontal center reveal effect. Up and down will change to vertical center reveal. Turn off the center reveal option, it's now switched to the single line wiping effect. Animation time is defined as the number of frames to run the animation. Line animation is the frames to animate the length of the line. When it's set to zero, line animation will be disabled. Ease text in and ease text out are used to define the animation curves to reveal and close the title. If you feel there is a bit of pause between the line animation and wiping animation, you can either turn off the line animation by setting the time to zero or change the ease in curve to none. You can play around with different curves and set them to the ones you like. At the end of the title clip, it will reverse the animation using the selected curves to hide the title and lines. As mentioned earlier, we can open the title in the Fusion page and adjust the advanced settings. For example, we can right-click the text field and enable the character level styles. In the viewer, select the characters or words we want to change style. Switch to the Modifiers tab. Now we can change the styles for the selected characters only. If we want to add a background for the title, we can double-click the Group node to expand the group and select the Main Text node. We now have access to all the controls for a Text Plus node. Go to the Shading tab. Select Element 5. Check Enable. Set the level to Text. Change the color. If needed, 
we can extend the background area. Now we see some space between the text and the line, we can change the padding to remove it. Like I mentioned earlier, to change the line the color to gradient, select the line color node, which is a background node. Go to the inspector, we can change the type to other gradient types. For example, we can use the vertical type and change the colors to our liking. Okay, now let's see how we create the effect in DaVinci Resolve. Add a fusion composition to the timeline and open it in the fusion page. Add a text node and link to the media out. Enter some text. While the text node is selected, click the rectangle button to add an effect mask. Modify the center parameter with a simple expression to link the mask center to the text center. So the mask will always follow the title when we move around the title. Change mask size, make sure it covers the entire text area. Rename it to text mask. Since the mask center is linked to the title, we cannot animate the center directly. Drag a transform node to the editor. Connect the mask to the transform node, ensure it's connected to the yellow source input. Connect the transform node to the text node as the effect mask input. Select the transform node. Now as we change the transform center, we can see the title is being masked. There are different ways to animate the center parameter. For this demo, I will simply use keyframes. But in the download template, I use anim curves so the animation can automatically adjust as clip duration changes, and also for the smooth curve selection. You can open my template and examine the details. For now, let's move the playhead to the beginning. Mark a keyframe for the center parameter. Make sure the text is not visible. Go to frame 30, which is one second in my case. Move the center to the right until the title is fully revealed. We now have a new keyframe created for frame 30. Play the clip and the title is shown with a wiping animation. With the mask linked to the title, we can move the title around and the mask animation will always work. Next we will create a line and link the line to the animation. Add a background to the editor. Click the rectangle button in the toolbar to add a mask to the background. Merge the background to the text node. Change the background color to white. Change the rectangle width to about 0.01 so it looks like the vertical line. Modify the height with an expression as shown on the screen. This will automatically set the height to match the text mask area. If we change the mask size, the line height is also changed. Select the rectangle node. Right click the center parameter and choose expression. This will enable the simple expression field, which can also be enabled by entering an equal sign in the input field. Change the expression to transform one dot center. When the clip plays, the line also moves to follow the transform center. But it doesn't match the title position. Modify the expression as shown on the screen. This adds the offset of the title, and moves it to the edge of the mask by adding half width of the mask. OK, it now works as expected. To smooth the animation, select the Transform node. Open the Spline Editor. Select Transform Center Displacement. 
Press Ctrl A to select both points. Press Shift S to smooth the curve. Now it looks much smoother. Another thing we can do, as you might have noticed in the template preview, the title itself also moves a bit to create a more dynamic feeling. To do this, drag a transform node from the toolbar and insert it after the text node. Make sure the node is selected. Go to frame 30, mark a keyframe for the center parameter. Go to the beginning, increase a bit of the center X value to create a keyframe for the current position. We can also smooth the animation in the spline editor. Now we've got something like this. All right, these are the basic steps to create a wiping title reveal effect in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.